I'm going to put my mortgage on something now. I bet you haven't improved your golf game for one main reason, and it's this. Are you focusing on that ball? Please don't. Here's why we absolutely don't want to focus on the ball and we want to focus our attention on something else, something else that's much more important when it comes to better golf. Before we start, don't forget, hit that link below to my website to get on the waiting list for lessons with myself here at Whittleby Park Golf Club. Now, here's the thing. So many of you out there, and most I would say mid to high handicappers, high handicappers in particular, guilty of this, guilty of trying to try and go at the ball. We're trying to think so much about that ball, we forget what the most important thing is in golf. The most important thing for us is the target. We need to make sure we are allowing that golf ball to get to the target. So in other words, we actually have to focus our attention on the target and let the golf ball get in the way. That is one of the most important things you are gonna hear about the golf swing. You have to make sure the ball is just getting in the way of the arc of the swing and your club is going towards that target over there. Your mind should be focused very much on the target as opposed to the ball. Because here's the deal. If we focus too much on the ball, what tends to happen, we disturb the arc of that golf club. We're going at the ball, which leads to a heck of a lot of inconsistencies. And there was a lovely book out there published a number of years ago by a guy called Fred Shoemaker, Extraordinary Golf. If you haven't got a copy, grab a copy. It's really, really good. A number of great elements he's got in that book. But for me, one of the most important elements he had in that book was the sensation that he tried to get his pupils to feel like he was throwing his golf club towards that target. They're throwing their golf clubs towards that target. Because if we think about it like this, if we're trying to throw a golf club, would we throw a golf club like this? If we're trying to throw a golf club to that target, I'm telling you now, it wouldn't look like that. It'd look something like that. And if we think about it like this, if we're trying to throw, everything else is turning, everything else is going with the flow. It's much more akin to a, to a golf swing, isn't it? It's much more akin without having to think too much. I've got to lift my left foot up here. I've got to get my right hip through here. No, all we're doing is throwing a golf club and it just feels nice and free and flowing. Just focusing our attention more on the target is allowing us to feel like we're gonna throw that golf club down there as opposed to trying to go at the golf ball. Because I see so many people, again, trying to go at the ball and they end up really cramped and squeezed up on the way through. They're disturbing the natural arc of that golf swing. And that's why a lot of your golf swings feel really cramped and tight and just not free and flowing. It's because without even realizing, you're going at the ball, so you're stopping that natural flow of that golf swing. If, and this is the drill today, if we allow ourselves to feel like we're thinking about the target and allowing ourselves to throw that golf club down there, it just makes it a lot easier to make repeatable contact with that golf ball. So two things I want you to do out there today. I want you to focus your mind on the target, not the ball. But secondly, I want you to feel, focusing on the target, we're gonna throw our club towards that target there. Just feel the sense of nice free and flowing motion, especially on the way through that ball. For much sweeter contact and really importantly, repeatable contact.